In this JavaView online training video, I will consider how to calculate and display trees in JavaView. For this demonstration, I will import a group of sequences that have already been aligned. The URL is shown on the screen and is in the notes below. To generate a tree, I go to the Calculate drop-down menu and select Calculate Tree. JavaView can calculate trees from distance matrices determined from percentage identity, feature similarity, PAM 250 and Blossom 62 scores using either average distance or neighbor joining algorithms. In this example, I use neighbor joining using Blossom 62. A tree of the alignment appears in a new window. By clicking on the tree, I can divide the tree into groups. Each group is assigned a color. Going to the Calculate drop down menu and selecting Sort, by tree and neighbor joining using Blossom 62, the sequences in the alignment window are reordered into groups as defined by the tree. The sequence alignment can also be reordered using the tree window by going to the view drop down menu and selecting sort alignment by tree. If I go to the calculate menu and select calculate tree neighbor joining using percentage identity, a second window will appear. Note. The colors of the sequences in the tree windows match those in the alignment window, making it easier to match sequences. I can create a tree from a subsection of the alignment. The tree only contains those sequences and residues that were selected. I can reorder the alignment sequences based on the groups in this tree by going to the Calculate menu and selecting Sort by Tree Order and neighbor joining using Blossom 62 on region. By going to the tree windows view menu, the appearance of the trees such as the font and style of text can be modified. From the file drop down menu, the tree can be exported as a Newark file or saved as an EPS or PNG file. The tree window is interactive. Place a mouse on a node in the tree will make a tall tip appear. Left click on the node will select all the sequences in that branch. Right click will open a color dialog box allowing the branch to be colored. Double click the node will invert the order of the sequences in the branch. Distance labels can be toggled on and off from the view menu. I would like to mention an error message that you may encounter when creating a tree. First I will calculate the tree with the aligned sequences a new tree window appears. If I then edit the sequence by adding some gaps and then calculate the tree, I get this error message. This is because the sequences now have different lengths. To overcome this issue, I go to the edit menu and click pad gaps. This feature adds gaps to the alignment so all the sequences are the same length. Now I can create a tree. This feature can be active every time you load JavaView by going to the Preference menu, select the Editing view and click on Pad Gaps when editing. For more information about the tree construction methods and distance measures used in JavaView, I recommend you look on our online help page. To demonstrate how the tree viewer can help explore the similarities and differences in the alignment, I will fetch the Ferrodoxin alignment from the PFAM seed database using the ID PF03460. I use the Taylor color scheme to color the residues. I apply conservation shading, setting the levels to about 20. Then I create a tree using the neighbor joining using Blossom 62. I create groups from the tree and use these groups to reorder the sequences in the alignment window as earlier. Differences in the primary structure of the sequence can be investigated by scrolling up and down the alignment window. Similarities within groups and differences between groups can be visualized. Changing the color to Blossom 62 allows the residues to be colored by consensus. Note, 
Ensure the Apply Color to All Groups option is selected. If you're interested in a specific mutation, such as a site with a single polymorphism, I will show you another way to group the sequences. First, I create a new view by going to the View menu and selecting New View. I select the column that contains the residue of interest and go to the Select drop down menu and select Make Groups for Selection. I color the alignment again. Then reorder the alignment according to the new groupings by going to the Calculate menu and selecting Sort by Group. The alignment is divided into groups based on similarities of residues in that column. To investigate the residues in each column, I can visualize the sequence logos in the Consensus Annotation row by right-clicking the mouse to reveal the Context menu and selecting Show Logo option. I can increase the size of the graph using the mouse. If I hover the mouse on the bars in the consensus annotation row, a tooltip will appear showing the amino acids at that location. This is just a couple of ways JavaView can be used to reveal patterns and variations in an alignment. For more information, please look at our user manual on the JavaView website at www.jarview.org.